Hello, hello. Let's see. Well, that lighting's not the best in this room. Sorry, sorry. I should have had this rearranged for the live. There we go. How's that look? Look at everybody. Welcome. Happy Saturday. It is a little dark. I was going to say, it's not the best lighting. All the light bulbs are on, though. Does it still work? Yes, it does still work. Hey, Patty, Holly, Katie, Stephanie. Stephanie, how's baby doing in there? Hi, Laura. Welcome to my school zone. This whiteboard is where I usually do their school and stuff, so it's kind of fun. I was nervous about the meal planning because i'm not really a meal plan person thanks husband because we got more light on um but i want to try it and i figured we could all just do it together you know that mug is too small i know my dad sent me this one it's still pretty big compared to my head i'm bad and it's got a snowman i like snowman snowman for a Winter and Christmas, like watermelon for summer. It's just so great. And in the package he sent, he had like a little scent bag with like cloves and cinnamon. Nice touch, Pops. Nice touch. Like it smells so good. Are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> okay, enough of that. Again, inhaling that. Baby is almost ready to evict. Uh, eviction day, January 18th. It's so close, Stephanie. Ah. Uh, Hey, Lona, hello. Sally, hello. Marsha, you made it, hello. Look at everybody here. Make sure you're giving us a thumbs up. Kelly made it, hello. Internet person, welcome. Jennifer, hi, yep, I had a great Christmas. Did you? It was nice and chill. I do wish that I would, um, it would have been a white Christmas, but I can't control that. Please don't stop the food bank, it really helps. It does really help, Melinda. I'm just not really gonna be doing much like, picking up any extra meats or anything there. I'm just, and if they have a bunch of stuff, obviously I'm not gonna let it go to waste and I will take that and preserve it if I can. So I'm just gonna try and do less shopping. We're still, I probably still gonna get milk from there, bread, anything that's like expensive and they have a tons of that they end up getting thrown out. I'm definitely still going to utilize that. You hope he's gonna come before I hear that. Make it an auto all the way to 40 weeks pregnant is a long time. Oh, Karen Cole. Hello. Welcome. Hey, Tony. Kim, you're new to my channel. Welcome. Is this your first live? Usually I try and cook or something. This is my first time doing meal planning, but we're doing a pantry challenge for January. It's called the Three Rivers Homestead or the Three Rivers Challenge, but it's by Three Rivers Homestead. Um, her name is Jessica, the creator over there, and she does it just to try and clear out some stuff in her pantry that she needs to get used up. And I, I didn't do it much last year because I was really worried about stocking up and I feel like I didn't have enough to be trying to eat from my pantry. I was trying to stock up my pantry. But this year, I feel like I've had a really good year of getting my pantry to the point where I'm comfortable and I feel like I can have a good stockpile in case any kind of emergency happens. That's really my main focus on being able to feed my family of five for months in case something happens, we can live off of the food we have, you know? And I'm, I'm comfortable to that point. And a lot of that is thanks to utilizing the food bank and when they have a lot of produce in season and needs to get used up, because I was able to can it and preserve it but now I need to start using those up I'm still kind of a new canner and I'm not used to using up food if it looks weird or if, um, I haven't tried it before and I also need to get over that hump and I'm sure a lot of you are the same way as well so that's why I think we could all help each other to start using up some of the food that we don't know so um maybe every Saturday from now on we can do meal planning and we can do it all together my, kind of my plan here I know I'm rambling I'll get to more people here over it kind of my plan is to write like starches and then we'll list any kind of starches that anybody would have whatever your suggestions are we're right down there and then we'll do proteins we'll do veggies we'll do fruits we can do grains is that the same as starches um no that's different yeah the grains and then anything like that if we want to do like bread and then that way we'll mix and match and create a meal from there you know what i'm saying 
Another thing I want to do is have a list of things that need to get used up. So I have a lot of tomato products, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, whole tomatoes, things like that. So I want to use, let's say, four cans of tomatoes, something a week. And that can kind of be my goal. And then I'll try and incorporate that if I can. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Say I have a lot, like a can of um, artichokes that I want to get used up, you know, so I'll put artichokes on there and then I'll know for sure that I want to incorporate those artichokes into my meal plan for that week. Hey, Melissa. Oh, Cameron says hi. Hi, Cameron. How are you? I hope you're being good for mama. Oh, Judy. Hi, Judy. Yes, doing the pantry challenge. Good. I think I'm going to set a grocery limit to, I don't know, 100 bucks maybe. We'll see how it goes. If I'm able to still get milk from the food bank, that would help full. Definitely use the necessities of grocery, especially with the kids. Yes, Linda, great idea. I just binge watched Jessica's last year challenge to inspire me. Oh, that's a great idea. Am I cooking black eyed peas and collard greens for New Year's? No, I've never had that. Is that a tradition? I've always slept for New Year's. <laughs> I'm not a night person. I do a pasta night, casserole night. I do a prep prepping cooking on Sundays. Okay. A pasta night and a casserole night. I like that. My son was mortified when I bought 40 cans of tomatoes when I found them on sale for two for 75 cents. That is a great deal. Someone just posted in the Facebook group that there was like $1.25 or something for diced tomatoes. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, and it's only going to get worse. Hey, Sandy. Hello from Oregon. Nurse bought her first home and has a list of things she needs. What a great, great idea for helping out. We took up 30 strawberry plants. It was on our list. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, hey, Amber. I love that you called him out on being a good boy. Hey, when they hear it from somebody else, you know, I love it when people are like, you better be good for your mama. And they're like, yes. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. Mm. It's a Southern thing. Okay. Pamela, hello. Amber says, I'm going to do a big inventory on my pantry home canned items and my deep freezer tomorrow said I know what I need to use up first. Good thinking. Real quick, are you on the Wi-Fi? Am I on the Wi-Fi? I am. Should I get off? Sometimes it works fine without. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. There's an app for that. Oh, yeah. Katie, did you list all the apps? Good? You offer it? Yes. Okay. It's supposed to bring you money and good luck for the new year. Oh, it's supposed to bring us money and good luck, honey. Eating black eyed peas and collard greens. Collard greens. All right. So meal planning week one. Let's do protein. Is that right? I before E, it's not the other C. Yeah, protein. Okay. You can switch back to it. Oh, okay. Husband. Okay, so protein. We can do, let's do like a roast. I'm going to write eggs. What else would we got? Beans. Lentils. A lot of people have been asking about lentil recipes and stuff, so I think that would be nice to try and incorporate lentils at least once a week. Um, let's see, we can do ground ground meat. I actually have a um, yeah chicken. Chicken. I have a turkey thawing that I just got from my food bank, so I'm going to write turkey on here for me specifically because I'm going to need, um, I'm going to cook that turkey. So I'll have a lot of turkey. Pork, Judy says. Pork. So ground meat, I guess we could do beef, but 
ground because I have elk and venison so that's why I kind of just put meat or you can do ground turkey you could do ground chicken so pretty much whatever you have ground you can cook with that there um all right let's do should we do like sides or we can do starches let's do starches and then lots of people put lentils in their hamburger meat to stretch it like with their sloppy joe oh that's a good idea amanda corn and potato let's see i'm gonna put um oh sweet potato i'll put sweet potato how about sweet pot for a shorty yeah sweet pot i like some of that sweet pot or uh like um we'll just do ready pot okay and then um rice maybe brown rice i have both maybe some type of noodle oh protein is the exception i thought that looked weird And I'm the one teaching my kids. Ha! Ah. <laughs> That's why I got you here, right? Right? There are two words in the English language that actually follow the I before you. Is there really? Yeah. Then why do they teach it to us? <laughs> See? Part of public school didn't come in handy. Stuffing, Holly says. This one just said bread. Yeah, so if you want to do like rolls or a sandwich or something. Potatoes, we got potatoes. Beets, is beets a starch, Patty? Quinoa, good choice. Is quinoa a starch? Yeah, quinoa's a starch. Quinoa, quinoa, is there an A, oh, dang it. Hang on, I see, she spelled it right. I, oh. Quinoa. All right, and then we can do like noodles. Jennifer likes sweet pot. Couscous, Patty. Good. Couscous. Noodles, Linda. Pasta. Okay, I got it. It's okay. Okay. Tortillas. Nice. Gnocchi. Running out of room here. Gnocchi. I think I added an extra in there. Barley. That's a good choice. We'll just do a line. Peel off. Yeah, look at all these. Corn chips and tortillas. Corn chips is good. I actually got a bag of crushed um, corn chips or um, I got tortillas down there. A bag of crushed tortilla chips from the food bank. I think an enchilada casserole takes crushed food banks. All right, give me a break. Let me... Crushed tortillas. You said crushed food banks. Did I really? Yeah. Crushed tortillas. Thank you. See, husband's going to keep straight. This is why I edit, you know. I say some weird stuff and I'm just like, what did I say? One time I said you could keep, I was like, you can keep dish soap, you know, in your car. And I'm like, did I just say you can keep dish soap in your car? Why? Why would you do that? It's a horrible suggestion, Carolyn. All right. Beans are technically a starch and a protein. Uh, okay, so should I add it to the starches or just leave it on the protein? Oh, hey, Sarah, welcome. Fish for protein. Fish. For all you fish eaters out there. All right, is it still breaking up, guys? Let's see, Amanda was saying I was moving around and it's breaking up. Yes, we are meal planning, Sarah. We got proteins, we got starches. What's next, veggies? Most everybody will see, well, we got carrots. It's pretty cheap. 
Someone listed beets earlier. Peas. Um, salad. Oh, we're good now, Amanda says. Okay. Oh, bacon. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? All right. Throw the paper water to water. Uh, corn peas, string beans, green beans. Is green beans the same as green beans? Green beans. Which was? I need, I have a lot of green beans. I need to make green bean stuff. Nanny Tam slept through the notification. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Hi. Welcome, Nanny Tam. Welcome to the group zucchini. Oh, butternut squash. I have some butternut squash I need to use. Um, what else? I still have pumpkins. Pumpkin spaghetti squash. My brother got the pretty handwriting. <laughs> I know you got all that pumpkin. Oh, Amanda, you read my mind. Cream beans, cabbage, Amber. Good add. Cabbage is reasonable, really good. Cabbage, broccoli, sausage, meat. I love broccoli. I need I cook it in the microwave. Really good. Mm, squash, cucumber, and bell peppers. I have a neighbor that says she doesn't like bacon. I thought that was weird. Yeah, don't be friends with her. There you go. Oh, how's it going? Thank you. He makes me bright. <laughs> this house is so dark. Oh, God, he's so good. Thanks, husband. Uh, crock pot meals or casserole. So we could have, you guys want to do like um, a casserole day? We can we can choose days. Like I'm totally open for this challenge. So if we want to pick like a casserole day or if we just want to pick a casserole week and then I can slide in what day it works, um, maybe we can just pick the meals and then I can decide what days. And then in the video, you'll see. Like I definitely want to do a Mexican. I was going to do like Taco Tuesday. But someone suggested just switching it up to just doing Mexican Tuesday or something. Let me lower this. It's casting a shadow on you. That's the problem. Like that? Yes. Okay. Hold on, guys. Readjusting. Who hired these people? Oh, I see the shadow. I don't know. I thought it was fine. Was it not fine? Ah. All right. There you go. What do you guys see now? Good. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. Oh, hey, Mary. Ooh, cabbage thinly sliced is really good in a taco salad. That sounds good. Oh, spinach. Speaking of people making you eat it, spinach, spinach is really good for you, by the way. Carrots, I got carrot, carrots, onion, celery. And then we can do like snacks too, if you wanna do like snacks for, ooh, mushrooms, Judy, that's what I'm talking about. Mushrooms, mm, I was talking about, um. Spanish, not Spanish, uh, Swedish meatballs today. That sounds really good. Oh, you got the flu, Nanny. I'm so sorry. Yes. Kale. So this is all stuff that you could have. Hi, Giddy. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> he says hi. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Bacon needs its own category. Absolutely. How many of these veggies are in season? Well, sometimes you get stuff um, at the food bank or you could have like frozen cauliflower. I have some frozen cauliflower in my freezer. Where's the dessert category? That's what I'm talking about. We should make at least dessert a week. That sounds good. Casseroles are good. Oh, canned tomatoes. That's a good one. Everybody gets canned tomatoes. All right, what are, what's the next category should we do? Ooh, lasagna soup. I have not. That does sound good, though. Mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. Oh, I like the thought of doing each day in a signed day. Casseroles are a great day as they have a huge variety for casseroles. Yes, exactly. Or I was even thinking like a sheet pan day where you just put like cut up pork and potatoes and broccoli, season it and just bake it all. And you can do several different, yes. Okay, so we could do like a sheet pan day or something like that or crock pot day. Um, we could do air fryers, cook something in the air fryer, even if it's not the main dish, or we can do like a dessert in the air fryer, or maybe a dessert in the crock pot, like doesn't necessarily have to be the meal for that, you know, because I still want to try other things as well. I want to try and learn as much, you know. Oh, add peanut butter. It's a good choice. No, there's a um, peanut butter sauce for like noodles that's really good. Asparagus, nuts, that's right. I just add nuts in general. Oh, and nuts. Asparagus, I love asparagus. I also like um, chicken piccatas on my list. I'm gonna do that. We've done an international day. Oh, I like just making it an international day. Casserole, slow cooker, instant pot day, sheet pan, pizza day, leftovers day, kids choice, parents choice. Okay, those are great choices, Linda. Hi. All right, I like that. International day, casserole day. Hey, April, welcome. Lettuce. Well, I have salad. A salad. Salad. Kind of lettuce. And then, what is the other thing? Jalapenos. Who's going to eat like a jalapeno sized serving, though? I guess you could do stuffed jalapenos. All right, fine. I'll try them on. I've convinced myself. Jalapenos. Yeah. Be authentic around here. Do you still have pickled onions? I know I have quite a few jars still in my pantry along with banana peppers to use up. Yes, pickled onions. Um, I like to add those to meatloaf instead of a diced onion or stuff. That helps use it up. Or I would add um, what it, mustard. Mustard relish. That's really good, too. Oh, peppers. Asparagus gravy over toast. Mmm. Oh, Amanda says, if you don't mind me asking, how is your mother feeling? I've been praying for her to feel better. Uh, what ended up happening is she needed a dialysis machine. So she's having some kidney failure is what's going on. So that's, I think it's kidney, honey. Yeah. So <clears throat> she had to get one of those. Um, so that's what's going on with her. But they figured it out and hopefully they'll start. She'll start feeling better once they are able to filter, filter and clean her up a bit, you know. But thank you very much for <clears throat> thinking of her and asking about her. I really appreciate that. She's doing much better. Oh, you're leaving me on the TV. Brussels sprouts.
I have some of those in my freezer right now. Hi. I have carrots, onions, and potatoes coming out of my ears. You better go see a doctor, Judy. <laughs> Rutabaga. Rutabaga. Never forget chocolate. Chocolate's really good. Ch -ch 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 chocling. Oh, hello. Is that Esk from Queenlands, Australia? Welcome. Hi. There we go. Needs chocolate. The chocolate can't go in the veggie section, guys. <laughs> fruits can be a category. All right, let's move on to fruits. I got bored up here. I'm gonna give my calves a workout. Fruits. So we could just do like generic canned fruits or whatever. Like we're, remember, we're thinking we're trying to use up what's in our pantry. So we're writing stuff that would be in our pantry that we're trying to use up. Um, so you could just do like pears. Peaches. I have blueberries. I also have grapes. Hi. And then we usually have apples, bananas. Bananas? Oranges. Strawberries. And then I also have frozen mixed fruit for like smoothies. Maybe applesauce could be considered a fruit, a fruit. I don't know if I'm going to do Snacks. Oh, a pasta day. I like that, Judy. So let's write some days here. So we're going to do a pasta day. Um, yeah, actually. Here's my eraser. Eraser. You guys have ever seen that movie, Eraser, with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't know why I love that one. It's got Vanessa Williams in it too. Oh, there's tape up here. Yeah, I hear tape. All right. Um, so days. One, we'll have pasta day. Husband will love that. I don't make enough pasta. And that could be like a lasagna. It could be a baked ziti. It could be an instant pot pasta. It could be homemade mac and cheese that we bake in the oven. So just any kind of pasta thing, you know. It could be um, copycat. I do some copycat Cheesecake Factory pastas. They have some wonderful pastas. So we're doing pasta day. Let's do a casserole day. Another thing, casserole. Another thing about this is that we could be making extra and storing it in our freezer to start stocking our freezer with freezer meals. Because I know some people do like a big freezer meal day where they prep a bunch at a time. Oh, for my protein, I'm going to put crock pot meals because I have some crock pot chicken. Remember, I made those with the Italian dressing. Crock pot chicken, pork, and beef meals. So I'm going to write crock pot uh, meat on the protein just to remind myself that I have some of that that I want to cook up. And that could be where we're just cooking the meat to make the pork for the taco day, you know. So we have casserole. Let's see. I like your shirt. It's a local restaurant. It is. Montana Jack's. It's a good restaurant. I like this shirt too because it's long sleeve. So it tastes like the nip off if you need to go out. But it's thin so it's not going to like overheat me. Oh, an air fryer day. Air fryer. Oh, peanut soup. That sounds good, Amber. Oh, no. Second round of COVID. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, Bob. You could do one theme 
You could do one theme per week. Oh, I like that. Oh, hey, Sonia, happy New Year's. Hmm. Gary, Laura says, it's definitely a needed category. Oh, apparently our internet sucks. Yeah, I never switched back. No, yeah, okay. All right, we got a dairy category, cheese, buttercream, cheese. Right now I'm gonna write cheddar and mozz, cause that's the two type of cheese. Oh, I also have American. I also have Velveeta. Dang it. Velveeta. I also have canned cheese soup. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Um, well, I have cheese sticks, but we're going to use those for snacks. Oh, another thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get, speaking of snacks here, let's come down a little bit. Speaking of snacks, I'm going to have the kids start doing a snack um, box where they're going to pick snacks. I think I'm gonna do like a protein and a starch and then they'll do like a veggie and a fruit and they'll have like six snacks. Um, I don't know quite the number yet, but a, roughly a number of snacks that they will pick and they'll put in their box and those are all the snacks they get all day long. And so we're gonna have like picks of the different snacks and stuff. And um, I think that'll really help because then they'll have, oh, these are my snacks. You know, they'll feel happy that that's theirs and it'll be their responsibility to make it last all day, you know? So I don't know, I kind of like that idea. I think I saw that on Super Nanny. It's not my idea. All right, husband didn't like the shadow. The shadow, I think I had enough. Whoa, whoa, phone. Sorry guys, but that was a little like, look at me, and then I messed it up. Okay, that's pretty good. Stuff the jalapenos or saute with onions and mushrooms. Mmm. Oh, Rob says that's a cider mug I need in the morning. It's just one cup. Lima beans. You guys got lima beans in your closet? Oh, thank you everyone for my mom. Rutabaga. All right. I'll put rutabaga on here. Patty wants rutabaga on here. Rutabaga. Desserts. We should do dessert. What do you think we should do? One a week? Two a week? Bananas, strawberries. Oh, mandarin oranges is a good one. Hey, what do you got? Mandarin oranges. Thank you, Linda. Applesauce, I got applesauce. Fruit cocktail is a good one. And then if you have any like home canned stuff too. Oh, canned pineapple. It's a good one. Everybody's got canned pineapple. Okay. Canned fruits, okay. Blueberry, I think I got, yeah, I got blueberries up there. Chocolate is a fruit, all right. Chocolate. Husband, mind your business. <laughs> Did you say chocolate's a fruit? Mind your business. Fruit. Hey, Lisa, welcome. Canned peaches, I got peaches on there. Peaches, pears, blueberries, grapes, apples. If you have a cake mix and butter, you can make an easy peach cobbler. Oh, that sounds so Actually, chocolate is a nut. So chocolate into the protein? Okay. Chocolate. You know, sometimes I add it to the tomato sauce, so I think we should add it to the veggies too. So chocolate to the veggies. And you know, chocolate goes great with dairy, right? You know, like chocolate cheesecake. So we're adding it to the dairy too. There we go, chocolate. <laughs> 
There we go. So we better use some chocolate this week. That's all I'm saying. I got distracted. I didn't finish the cheese. So cheese, dairy, cream, milk. Running out of room. I'll organize this better. I kind of got this right in the middle, but that's okay. Watermelon. Ah, oh, Carolina. I don't think of watermelon. Well, watermelon's kind of hard to get this time of year, but you never know. Oh, cherries. I do have cherries, too. There we go. Cherries. Got frozen cherries. Applesauce bread. Mmm, that does sound good. Does it have to be in season? I don't know, Patty. We're just kind of, we're trying to use up, like, stuff that we would have in our pantry. So we're, that's kind of what our goal is and what we're adding to the board is things that we have or that we, that we don't really know how to use. Like, um, chickpeas might be a good thing to add for the, I know I said beans, well, let's write chickpeas on here because everybody's always looking for ways to use chickpeas or lentils. People are really looking for lentil recipes, you know. Right now I have a dozen turkey eggs, so I needed some egg recipes, you know. So I know we're spending a lot of time on this board. Hope that is okay with everybody. Make sure you're giving me a thumbs up. Tacos, Mexican day, casserole day, crock pot day. I do like the Mexican day. I like Mexican. Mexican. All right. Um, there is one right here that we just took off the tree. You're welcome. Oh, well, you're welcome. All I had to do was ask a wife. <laughs> He's like, that's what I've been looking for. Yeah, that never worked. Well, it would have worked to this time, sir. Crock pot day. Do how about crock pot or instapot? Yeah. Crock or insta. Insta. I hope you guys are taking notes. Oh, you can't even see up there. Husband's still trying to fix the lighting. Thanks, husband. Now I got a bright ass light in my face. Yep. <laughs> we'll put it over here. Thank you. Ooh, goulash. Wings, fries, pizza. I do like the pizza day. So you could do like Benny pizzas. You could do like breakfast pizzas. Still in my face. That's okay. the point. It's the I don't like it. I don't. Sorry. How am I going to be famous without liking lights in my face? Oh, hot dogs. That's a good one to add. Okay. Still in my face. Extra pasta and make mini meals ready to heat. That's a good idea, Judy, especially if like if you want to do like a side of um, pasta roni and you already have like angel hill angel hair pasta cooked and then you can uh, just make the sauce for it. You know, I cook the meat ahead of time and use the pasta in Mexican days. That's a good idea. Are you going to do the clean out the refrigerator day? I like that. What do you think about the last one being a leftover day? I was kind of I kind of like that idea because you never really know what you're going to have. I'm so excited to get big cups you showed. Love these. <laughs> they are really great. I love it. Did you order the, the big cups I just uh, featured? Is that what you're talking about? We can give cheese its own category. Yeah. Homemade pizzas on Fridays and Saturdays like that. Pasta, you could do a bunch of different pastas. That's a great idea to make extra and freeze. I'm writing these down. Good. I feel like I'm in school taking my notes. Yeah, it's something like maybe we can all build our our weekly menu on Saturdays, you know? Soup would be my favorite day of the week. We don't make very much soup. We don't really eat soup too much. It might be something that we could do for, I guess we could do for dinner every once in a while. Um, but I don't know if we would do that specifically all at one time. I do like the leftover day, so let's make that leftover. Okay, awesome. So can we see all this? We got our days, we got dairy, fruits, protein, starches, veggies. Cream cheese, that's a good idea, cream cheese. Ooh, turkey soup tomorrow, that sounds good. We talked about Taco Tuesday. Yeah, we just take Taco Tuesday into a whole Mexican, so that way we can kind of switch it up a bit. 
Ooh, pea soup yesterday. Yes, I agree, Sandy. Lima beans in your closet. <laughs> Ooh, maraschino cherries. I heard, heard you make a bread out of that. That would be good. Chocolate covered fruit. There you go. <laughs> oh, bye, internet person. If you're still here, think of the children. Cantaloupe grapes. Cooked maraschino noodles filled with meat, mixed, then wrapped with bacon, whipped with barbecue sauce, and baked. Ooh, that sounds good, Sandy. Oh, dry goods. Oh, these have tofu for protein. We can put tofu on there. Tofu. A lot of people do that. Pineapple mango. Dry goods include oatmeal. You're enjoying the board? Okay, good. Oh, canned mango? Interesting, I have frozen mango. Oh, tuna, tuna, everybody's got canned tuna. I also have canned meats. Like home canned meats, like elk, and then I also have like canned pork and beef that we got from the the food bank tomatoes are our food. Katie, we don't need your technicalities up in here. Seasoned roasted chickpeas, that does sound good. Ooh, avocado. That's in, what is avocado under a veggie? It's technically a fad, isn't it? What besides smoothies can you do with canned mangoes? Got on sale, no one would eat them. I don't know, canned mangoes you could make, um, you can make like, instead of a peach cobbler, make a mango cobbler, you know? Hey, Melissa, good evening. Oh, take a picture of the board and put it in the community on your channel. Judy, that's a great idea. I'm gonna write up here, take a picture, so I don't forget that. There we go, okay. Grits, what are grits, a starch? Grits are good, I got grits. I got the grits. <laughs> if you have sugar, you can use molasses to make brown sugar. Mmm, that's true. Oh, cornstarch. Oh, so you got to mix um, sugar and cornstarch to make powdered sugar. I never knew you had to add the cornstarch to that. Thank you, Laura. Veggie pizza to use up your veggies. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Patty, I'm glad you liked them. The cup. Leftover day, monkey's choice. Yes, that's a good idea. I need flaky crust. Oh, speaking of flaky crust, I also have my big um, bag of pie crust I want to start getting into. So I need to start making some pot pie. Everything from a can. Look, I have some beef stew is the very first thing that I had canned. And... You know, it doesn't look the best. I was thinking maybe I can turn it into a pot pie. That would be good. Bacon, cheese, potato soup. Ooh, that does sound good. Sour cream's good. I got the sour cream. People can read my writing. As the kids get a little bigger, you can do a fin for yourself day where they eat the cans out of the pantry and leftovers of the fridge. Hey, that's kind of nice. You got to have lima beans that have good, yeah. Lima beans, luck. Overnight oats, that's a good idea for breakfast. Mango bread, mango muffins, hmm. Mango sorbet, Judy, that's a good idea. Avocado is a fruit. Thank you. Chili day, that's a good idea. Grits, bacon, butter, and cheese. Mm-hmm. Shrimp. 
shrimp. We have fish, we have shrimp. There we go. Oatmeal. So should we do um you think we should do what's oatmeal and a starch? Oatmeal. Add oatmeal there. Cornmeal. Oh yeah, so we can make um Oh, polenta. I saw that. Polenta. Good job, guys. Look at all of us. All kinds of great ideas. With the different fruit, you can make a fruit tart or dessert. Yes. All right. So this looks great. So I know for sure I'm going to be using turkey. So I'm going to kind of work on my list now. You guys have a general idea of everything. If you want it zoomed up in anything in particular, let me know. So I'm gonna make turkey. I have turkey for my main protein. And then I do have some fresh broccoli. Um, I have some butternut squash I wanna use. Um, I have tortillas both corn, I have corn, flour, and corn chips. And then I have like enchilada sauce and cheese and everything. Um, well, we're all good now. I'm taking a pic of your board. I will, I'll take a picture of it and post it on the community board as well. As long as you have bacon grease, you can cook anything. Fruit salad, yum. Turkey enchiladas on Mexican night. Sold. All right, so let's do my numbers over here. Oh, I don't need this. I'm so used to circling. I'm trying to get out of the habit of that. All right, so first decision is turkey enchiladas. And let's do some sides. I want to make Spanish rice. And let's just do refried beans. Maybe I can do like the refried beans in the crock pot or something to make it kind of um, a crock potty or something. Turkey burritos, that sounds good. Oh, Patty says coffee. Thanks, Patty. This is why you guys are my friends. You're not a fan of corn tortillas? Me, me either. I think if I fry them, though, like one person suggested making a homemade crunch wrap, and I think you fry a corn tortilla to make it crunchy. That would be good. Oh, also, I don't know if City Girl Homestead's in here, but her and Uncle Chris are going to be doing a Super Bowl um collaboration so anybody else if you're interested in joining that um i think chris is the one in charge of it so talk to her city girl homestead um they're both chris that's so funny they're both named chris <laughs> she's chris he's chris um but i am going to be doing wings uh bone in wings because i have a lot of those in the freezer so that's something i'm going to be doing that that week we will incorporate that and then I still don't want these to be my only video. I'm kind of rambling here. My only videos, but um, try and do other things as well, you know, besides just this. Beef and bean burritos, that sounds good. Fried and bacon. Mmm, turkey alfredo for pasta night. That sounds good. I subscribe to your uncle's channel. Thank you. He's not really my uncle. He's just, his name is Uncle Chris. He's not really my uncle, but good. He is a good one to watch. Yes, bacon, bacon, bacon. Um, okay, um, let's see. Turkey Alfredo, I like that amber. Let's see, so, so we got casserole for pasta. We're gonna do turkey Alfredo.
Maybe with broccoli. We can have steamed broccoli. Um, maybe some garlic bread. That sound good? Anything else for that? Oh, and don't forget we gotta do a dessert. Instead of seven, because seven's gonna be left overnight, I'm just gonna write dessert. D for dessert. So we'll do one dessert a week too. Ooh, turkey tamales. I really want to make tamales. That's on my bucket list as well. Turkey and rice casserole. Barbecue turkey pizza. Ooh, great suggestions. We could also do, I like that pizza idea, barbecue turkey pizza. Because we have a pasta, so let's do that. Barbecue turkey pizza. Sold. All right, so we got pizza. What else we done? So we have air fryer, Mexican, which I did. Is that turkey enchiladas? Is Mexican? Oh yeah, Mexican, not casserole. Mexican. Okay, so we have casserole, air fryer, crock pot, or instant pot, and then the leftovers are just leftovers. That's kind of going to be a day goes in day. Chocolate covered bacon for the dessert. I mean, I'll write it down. I'm all right. We do have chocolate on the list. Chocolate cover, chocolate bacon. I'll just write, just write that. That is nice. Sprinkle with a little sea salt. Mm. Made enchilada soup. Oh, I've never made that. That does sound good though. Turkey chili. Mmm. We do a funky turkey pizza with hot sauce and sour cream. Oh, Ruby, that sounds good. Air fried turkey strips. Well, I think I'm going to cook the whole turkey and so I'll have like pre-cooked turkey to go with. Um, I guess I could like skim some of it off before I cook it. And then I brought a couple of books here too. Like this is one that I have picked up that I've been needing to use. A Mediterranean diet and it has a bunch of good like Mediterranean ones oh um I was wanting to do a pot pie oh hey is that you Rachel Nike girl hi how are you girl omelets and frattatas I do have um eggs I wanted to use so this is just dinner I guess I'm just planning dinner right now we'll do dinner together and then I guess I can do breakfast and lunch on my own. So that sounds like a good idea. So you guys all help inspire dinner. Ooh, I have chorizo in there. I forgot chorizo. All right. Um, turkey enchiladas, turkey alfredo, barbecue turkey pizza. It's going to be a turkey. Night. So I still have butternut squash I want to use up. Bacon wrapped asparagus with hamburgers and sweet potato or parsnip fries. That sounds good. Husband, you up for a burger night? Burger? Yeah. Ooh, so I bet, you know, how about we do the burger and then the air fryer? We can do sweet potatoes in the air fryer because I have some of those big sweet potatoes left. All right, so let's do burgers and then with sweet potatoes. I'm going to cook some of that sweet pot. Yeah. <laughs> Casserole dress with the turkey to make and freeze wine. Oh, that's a good idea. So I would say the turkey enchiladas, we could probably make double of that as well and freeze one of those. My daughter's been making chicken salad with bacon and ranch for her family. Oh, that sounds good. I don't know. We might make that for a lunch. Let's, uh... Ugh. Dang you, making me start a lunch category. I like that because I could do turkey salad. I mean, I just bought a gallon of mayonnaise for crying out loud. <laughs> turkey cutlets are my kid's favorite. I cut the whole turkey before cooking the whole thing. I see. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Turkey cutlets. I'll write that down too. That could be, all right, 
All right, last day we have crock pot or Instapot. So maybe some kind of soup. Turkey stew, use your squash in it. Ooh, or we could do like a turkey chili with butternut squash. I don't know, the turkey. If that sounds like that would be better with brown turkey. I guess it wouldn't hurt to cut it up. What do you guys think? Butternut squash soft soup, yep. All right, so how about like some turkey chili for the crock pot? Yeah? Chili. And then we're gonna add the butternut squash to this. And then that will be butternut squash. Did I miss a day? Seven months of a day. Oh, casserole. Never mind, we still need a casserole. Casserole. She stole my broccoli. Oh wait. Yeah. My bro my dang it. Uh Jennifer. I forgot it. Chicken cordon bleu soup. Oh, that sounds good. I love chicken cordon bleu. I'm thinking next week I might pull out a ham and do the same thing with kind of some of the ham. So we have turkey one, two, three, four nights, and then we'll have burgers one night. So I think for the six nights, this other casserole should be something non-turkey as well, because that's quite a bit. So I'll try and space out the turkey as we use it plus i can always vacuum seal some of the cooked turkey and have it in the freezer so that way i'm not forced to use all of it this week if we get a little burnt out then i'll save some for later and do that i also want to cook up a bunch of ground beef and do the same thing so i might pull a bunch like um same thing next week we could do like ground beef or something and pull it out and then we'll make meatloaf one time um i have yet to make homemade meatballs i did can some but they did turn out a little dry, so I wouldn't want to um, try that again until I go through. But I do need to go through them. That's another thing. I know they're dry, so I don't go. I don't use them. Like, why don't you use them? So I want to start forcing myself to use some of the canned meat that I have canned as well. So anyway, long story short, I also have those crushed tortilla chips I want to use. So maybe I can use that for a topping for this casserole. Um, Someone was saying rice. Rice is good. We can make a rice casserole. I have frozen spinach. I have frozen Brussels sprouts. Ooh, big fries out of the squash. That's a good idea. Ooh, cottage pie casserole. That does sound good. Oh, thank you, Jen. She stole my broccoli casserole recipe eight years ago and said it was hers uh yeah it's funny if you know it you know it piccata that sounds good what are you talking about with piccata my neighbors made us chicken piccata dish never had before it was really good i love chicken piccata the first time i ever had it was when i was a newbie at the cheesecake factory and i was training to be a line cook and my trainer was like, what do you want? And I was like, I don't know. I've never been here before. Like, I never even heard of the Cheesecake Factory. And he's like, well, do you like lemons? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, all right. And he ordered me the chicken piccata. And it had mushrooms and capers. And I was like, oh, okay. And it was delicious. I pretty much ordered it every time I had them break since. Like, anytime we go to the Cheesecake Factory, I debate getting chicken piccata just because I love it so much. Even though I also want to try new things. Anytime we go to Missouri, we go to the chicken or we go to the Cheesecake Factory. All right. So I'm so hooked on these taco bowls. My canned meatballs look unappetizing. Yeah, I don't know. They just got really dry. I don't know if I overbaked them in the oven and then pressure canning them also cooked them. You know, you know, we're still learning. We gotta go easy on ourselves. I'm not a fan of canned meat. Maybe I just don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I mean, some of it can be okay. Tuna casserole. My husband does not like tuna. What if you take them out and bake them a little while? The meatballs? Hmm. Rice and bean soups are good. Ooh, that does sound good. 
That's a good idea, Amanda. Put them in the slow cooker. You do casserole, hash brown casserole. Ooh, you know, I have been wanting to try scalloped potatoes with like ham or something. Ooh, I'll save that for the ham. Remind me whenever we do the ham week that I want to do scalloped potatoes with ham. Um, but I do have some hash browns in there. You do like a Southwest maybe with peppers and onions and sausage. I could thaw some sausage. Um, we could do breakfast for dinner kind of thing too. I like that. So let's do some kind of hash brown casserole. Chocolate bacon. Do we have another suggestion for another dessert? I can take like three dessert. Three dessert options. Can you make a big batch of rice and keep in the fridge and use it a few days to bulk stuff up? Yes, that is a great idea. Did you get everything you wanted for Christmas? I know you're going to say that as long as your kids are happy. They were happy, yes, and I did get everything I wanted, plus more. The kids picking me out gifts was just awesome. I love the the thought that they put into it, and um, I don't know. It was just it was special to see, you know. So it was great. And then husband always does a good job with my gifts. He gets me a special coffee mug every time, and then I told him I wanted some grill presses for like bacon and burgers and stuff on the grill. So he got me that too. So that was great. I love capers too, Judy. They're so good. Oh, rice pudding is a good suggestion for a dessert. Oops. Rice pudding. Ugh. This board's getting full. I'm going to have to organize a little better next time. Ooh, egg salad's a good idea. Also, there's a trick you could do with egg salad in the Instapot where instead of cooking hard boiled eggs, you just use like a styrofoam pan in there and crack your eggs in, in there in the pan hole and then steam them that way in your Instant Pot and then it comes out in like an egg loaf and then you just and then you got egg salad. So I want to try that. That would be a good thing to do. Oh, Linda, you've never had capers? You should change that. They're so good. My last meatballs were so bad. My neighbor's dog wouldn't eat them. Well, good, Patty. I'm glad I don't. I don't feel so bad then that I struggle with the meatballs. Uh, you put ham potatoes in the crock pot. Make it that way. Ooh, that's a good idea. Candied bacon. Mmm. A breakfast hash brown casserole. We do have elk sausage. So we could just do breakfast for dinner. Husband would be fine with that. No big cheesecake for dessert. Mmm, chocolate covered frozen bananas. I do have a lot of bananas right now. Frozen bananas. All right, guys, I think that looks pretty darn good. Look at all that work we did. We started with an empty board. Look at that. Thank you so much for all of your help. I am blown away. Look at all this. We still let's look up some ideas for like lentils. I might put this on the community board and then anybody has any ideas to add to this, you know, for ideas or snacks. I don't know. Let's make a challenge of it. This whole month is to try and spend less, get crooked, try and spend less and not shop. Shop from your pantry first. So all this should be stuff that's in your pantry that you're trying to use up and then only buy the bare necessities that you need, you know, fresh veggies, milk, whatever you need like that. Like, I don't put a limit on myself that way. Just try not to buy anything. Um, you might have some money put aside to like stock up, but this is mostly the month to try and go through that stuff that you need to go through, organize, go through your fridge, go through your condiments. That was another category I was thinking about adding was a condiment. So if you got hoisin sauce you want to use up and you have no idea what to do with it, we can have a stir fry night or something, you know, so... Let's get creative. Um, I really love this group. I love this community. Thank you for spending your Saturday evening with me. Uh, did Amanda say pumpkin roll for, oh my gosh, Amanda. All right, I'm writing it down, Amanda. Pumpkin roll, just because we did have pumpkin on our list. Fine, there, pumpkin roll. You know I got everything for it, too. You're like, I know what's in your pantry. I know you got it. <laughs>
That's so funny. You're really awesome, Carolina. So this is Victory Community. Love you all. Oh, thank you so much, Patty. Pie for dessert. Sounds good. Yes, Conrad. You want to play Boggle? Yeah. Yeah, we can play Boggle again. We played Boggle for Christmas Eve. They loved it. Yeah, Boggle is good. Yeah, it did get late fast, huh? Next time, condiments and dry goods for the pantry. You got it, Laura. So we're going to do this every Saturday. You think for January, we can just do a live and everybody can work on their menu plan together, right? Oh, Jupiter, I'm sorry you missed it. One second, Conrad, okay? Uh, my husband said you're way more organized than I am making a meal plan. Well, this was the help of everybody. I don't really meal plan either, but I want to. It's really going to help keep everything organized and go through your stuff, just so you know what's on hand, what you need to use, and food, less food waste, right? So this is everybody working as a team to get organized. Yes, Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for spending your Saturday night with me or watching the replay. And I'll catch you next time on Mama B.